Good afternoon everybody, this is a little follow-up video from the one I posted a couple of days ago. Uh, this is just following on and continuing with the SPI uh, protocol that I was talking about between the PIC and the port expander over there. Um, a little uh, sort of recap, up until this point i would got the analog joystick working, just output through the LEDs, so you can see that works pretty smoothly. Um, and I had a little button on the board as well, just output make them flash, so that was nice and simple. Um, the next thing was actually reading from the, uh, the SPI side of things to the PIC. So I added these three little buttons here, which create three little um, LED functions that I'll show you quickly. The first one's a bit of a sort of night rider, up and down. Uh, next one's sort of diamond shape, sort of the outer to the inner. And uh, finally just a, I don't know what you want to call that, but <laughs> the outside to the inside, just something different. Um, so yes, yeah, so that was, that was uh, okay. And it was a bit of a faff. There was a, a register that I wasn't really aware of before. There's uh, the IO direction register, or A or B for each of the banks. Obviously, sets the the polarity, so it's going to be an input or an output. Um, but I didn't realise until uh, after a couple of hours of mucking around that there's also another register, uh, which is the GPPUA or B, depending on the bank you're talking to. Register, and this register actually sets the internal pull-up resistors inside the chip. Um, so that was a that was annoying. <laughs> but once I figured that out, it was uh, fairly simple. Uh, I'm going to try and change the camera direction without it sounding really noisy. I know it did last time, I'm sorry for that. One second. Oh, that wasn't too bad. So yeah, so um, that's what I was talking about here. That's the uh, I direction A and the GPU. Um, obviously I've got mostly outputs on that bank. I've only got the three buttons, hence there's only three bits there and there to set them as inputs. Um, I've changed the code slightly since last time. I pulled all of the initialization stuff out from the main function and put it into its own function just to make things a bit more user friendly. Um, and I also noticed that in the, the functions that I was creating to write all the other sort of interesting flashing LEDs onto the, uh, the board there, I'd use a lot of repetition because in between each flash I would have to reset the, uh, the banks and turn off the LEDs. So I'll just put in a, a little function uh, which is just clear. It's literally two lines just cuts down the code a little bit, makes it look a bit tidier. It's just there, really simple. Um, and what else have I done? Oh, obviously there's, there's the new uh, the flashing functions. There's probably a better way to do this, to be honest. Um, I haven't really spent a lot of time. I was just trying to give a sort of visual result quickly so you can see what's going on. Uh, the things I still want to look at now are going to be connecting up um, this board. Uh, now we've got the SPI working with the Altera DEO board. Only the chaps have got their own working, so it's just a case of interfacing. Easier said than done, but we'll see. Um, and then after that, it's just really a case of um, maybe playing with the uh, the interrupts on the port expander. Haven't really got that far yet. But, um, oh, a bit of a creak there, sorry about that. Yeah, the uh, the interrupts on the port expander, um, there's two. They are just below the uh, the bank A pins. There's only two of them. Um, they can There's a register which allows them to be cloned. Um, or you can operate them individually, depending on what you want to do. So that's a nice task. Um, but if you want any of this stuff, just look at the data sheets. It's pretty straightforward, really. And there's there's loads of um, useful uh, sort of bits and bobs on the internet as well. If you have a read around, there's a couple more now as well, thanks to me. So <laughs> hopefully you'll be all right. Um, if you've got any more ideas or anything sort of interesting things that I haven't done, um, send me an email. It's uh, on the about page, I think, on the on the website. Um, thank you for watching, and uh, I guess I'll see you around. Bye-bye.